and ready for fucking action. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day, as always. But today, we gotta get down and dirty. We gotta get into the logistics, because net neutrality is on the table. I've talked about it before, but it needs to be talked about again. This is absolutely ridiculous what's going on in this country, and I have to give an opinion on it. And I hope you guys understand what's about to go down, and if you don't, then you're in the right place. So, you know how I roll. You know I believe in the power of free-flowing information, the power of ideas, you know, the power of the internet and what it represents. You know, how someone can come up with a blog, a website, an article, some ingenious idea and put it out for millions to consume instantly. And you've never seen that in any part of the world, in any time of the world, ever. This is a very unique time, and this needs to be cherished. This internet sanctum that we've built needs to be locked down. And if anything, I would recommend an internet bill of rights, but I'm, you know, I'm not running shit. So I'm just throwing ideas out here for you guys to potentially consume. But that's not what's going on. It's In fact, it's going in the opposite direction. What's going on right now, this is the fuckery that's going on right now. Net neutrality is about to be cut to ribbons, if not, I mean, it almost already has. We have a few months, a few months, and after that few months, you know, sayonara. But net neutrality simply means this for those of you who don't know or didn't see the video, which I'll post in the link below. I've talked about this before, but net neutrality simply means that every website is judged equally. So Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, any type of radical website or blog or whatever you read or watch is all judged equally and those web pages will load up equally quick. So that's all good. That's fine and dandy. But Verizon, Comcast, AT&T and the like, they want to diminish this. They want to say, okay, well, every website loads up equally. We don't want to do that anymore. We want the people who own these websites to pay a premium fee, and when they pay the premium fee, then their website will load up quickly enough. So, for those of you who don't quite understand yet, here's another simple way to put it. Imagine four lanes on a highway, all right, and everyone's moving down this highway very quickly, smoothly, everything's running very nicely. Well, what Verizon and Comcast want to do is they want to say, okay, well, these four lanes of traffic are awesome. How about we just move everyone over into two lanes of traffic? And then we're going to have two lanes that are fast lanes. And the people that pay an extra fucking amount of money get put into those fast lanes. And it's like, what? what? Why? Why? What is the purpose here? What does this do for people? Does this enhance our experience? No. We get the same internet speeds for more money. And let's be real here. America's internet speeds are piss poor compared to the rest of the fucking world. So it's completely ludicrous to downgrade what we've already built. And for those of you who may be saying, well, it's not that big of a deal. You know, net neutrality isn't the worst thing in the world. If it goes away, it goes away. Well, here's the problem is that Comcast, Verizon, and all these people are going to become the overlords of the internet. They'll essentially have complete control over what the fuck is going on. Comcast owns NBC, Verizon has their tentacles all over the place. They'll be able to say, okay, well, we're going to judge you accordingly, and we'll be able to judge you accordingly. We'll, you know, speed this website's traffic up, or we'll speed this website up, and maybe not speed this website up. They will be the overlords of the internet. And if you say, oh, well, you know, that's, you're putting your tinfoil hat on, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, if I'm wearing a tinfoil hat, then please explain to me how Comcast and Verizon are influencing the FCC in such a strong way. Please explain to me how Tom Wheeler, the guy who's the head of the SEC, the man responsible for the internet, this singular person is completely and utterly responsible for the internet. Of course, you know, there's been some public discourse and, you know, things have to be set in motion. There has to be public approval, of course. But this guy, this guy has the final say. And I have a huge problem with that, especially when this guy, Tom Wheeler, Google him if you want to, he was a lobbyist. He was a corporate fucking lobbyist. So I don't trust him. I don't trust a guy who sucks dick for money to, you know, impose peaceful and fair laws on potentially the greatest invention that we've ever had. I'm sorry. I'm not buying it. I don't believe you. You know, fuck you. That's not, that's not, it's not appropriate to say that this is going to become a better place because of net neutrality being shredded. All this is to me, from what I see, is you see corporations that want to suck more money out of the system. And on top of that, on top of that, I mean, I think it's fair to say that America's number one leading industry right now is the technology business. You know, we're in a technology boom right now. 
And guess what? Technology is very reliant on the internet. If you want to create a startup, if you want to create a blog, if you want to create a YouTube channel or a website or whatever, do you want to have to pay a thousand dollars a month in order to make that happen? No. Five hundred dollars a month? A hundred dollars extra a month? No. Nobody wants to do that. And on top of that, you're not going to see internet startups like Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube come out nearly as frequently, if ever at all, because this simply relies on you having a shit ton of money in order to fund whatever it is that you want. And to me, that just plays to, you know, people that have a lot of money. I don't understand how that's appropriate. If some guy who's, you know, working in his basement with a simple internet connection but has a brilliant idea and he wants to show it to the world, we should enable this person. We should enable this guy or woman to create a billion dollar industry because she has or he has the idea. And we're going in the opposite direction of that. I can't understand why this is happening. I can't understand why we've had to go through PIPA, CISPA, SOPA, all of these internet bills that are going in the exact opposite direction of what needs to be happening right now. What needs to be happening right now is we need to have something like an internet bill of rights. We need to secure this. We need to make everything more secure. We need to, you know, really say, okay, we understand what the internet represents. It's time to protect these ideas. But here's the problem with that, man. Here's the problem is that the internet allows for so much transparency. It allows for so much communication at such a fast rate that it is making waves within the quote unquote establishment. You know, the powers that be are, in my opinion, from what I've seen, are not very happy with what's going on. The fact that Fox, MSNBC, CNN, they lost 50% of their viewership, where did those people go? Where did they go? Well, guess what? They probably went to the internet. They probably started watching documentaries. They started probably watching, you know, more thought-provoking things that are coming out of the internet. The internet is very disruptive in an incredibly positive way, but... It disrupts, you know, the power structure, the people that are making money off of the old paradigm. It disrupts them. And so these people want to maintain their vice grip from what I've seen. This is just my opinion. I could be wrong. But to me, this really does look like the first domino in what could be a, a catastrophic event where, you know, the Internet is censored to such a degree that the whole reason that it came into existence is completely negated. And I, I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with something that is so powerful and so revolutionary and has the power to change the world being censored. And I don't think you should be either. I think that, you know, you need to call your congressman, congresswoman, you need to call your senators and say, what is your stance on this? And that's what I did, believe it or not. I called my congressman. I called both of them and I said, okay, what the fuck is up? I didn't say what the fuck is up. I was like, okay, you know, what? what is your guys' view on net neutrality? How do you stand? And the staffers, the people that worked for him, they said, well, we don't really have a standpoint. Uh, we'll get back to you. And that's fine. That's cool. But hear me out when I say this. If there was a politician who was to come out and really, I mean, aggressively say net neutrality needs to be, you know, it needs to be here. We need to have an internet bill of rights. We need to push in the proper direction. We need to secure the internet. We need to secure free flowing information. I guarantee you everyone on Reddit, everyone on forums that are all over the interwebs, anonymous people that listen to podcasts, they will get behind this politician and there, it will be a tsunami that, you know, people will not be able to deny. You'll see politicians hopping on that ship so fucking quickly, it will be ridiculous. Because let's be real here, politicians change with the way the wind blows. And all you have to do to gauge public opinion on this issue, look at any article on net neutrality. You know, this is, I hate the fact that the FCC is saying, okay, well, we're open to public opinion. We're open to the fact that, you know, maybe people don't want this. Maybe you want a more open internet. You know, tell us what you think. Motherfucker, we should not have to tell you what we think. All you have to do is read any article on net neutrality, scroll down to the comment section, and look at what people are saying. I've seen comments with hundreds of likes that say, this is bullshit, we don't believe you, we don't want you to take more of our money, we want the internet to stay the way it is, if not, become better. And at the moment, these internet bills that keep getting thrown through Congress are doing the exact opposite. So... In short, this is not appropriate. This is not good. I'm not okay with the internet having a new overlord. I'm not okay with Comcast saying, don't worry, we'll be fair, we'll be just. 
I'm not okay with the fact that the FCC is run by a lobbyist. And I'm not okay with the fact that Comcast says, don't worry, no corruption will be had, even though we're monitoring ourselves. I mean, how can you regulate yourselves? You know, if you put a a little five-year-old in the room with a cookie jar and he says, don't worry, I won't eat any cookies, you can trust me. Well, there's nobody there watching him. And that's the way I feel about Comcast. I feel like they're that kid in the kitchen with the cookie jar in front of him. And the parent somehow, some way believes him and says, okay, we believe you. You won't eat any cookies. I don't, I don't fucking believe you. I believe that you're going to do whatever it takes to get the maximum amount of money because that's what corporations do. Maximum profit, that's the bottom line. And maximum profit does not mean that net neutrality should be enacted. It means that it should be cut to ribbons so they can charge more money for stupid bullshit. And on top of that, they own all these weird... You know, they have their tentacles all over the place. Comcast owns NBC. Isn't that a conflict of interest? These people who are, you know, about to become the internet overlords? What? What the fuck? I'm so confused, and I'm, you know, a little worried about what's going to happen if net neutrality goes away, if it gets slashed to ribbons, because I have yet to hear one person that is cool with this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. If you did, give it a like or a dislike. If not, you know, slam your head against the keyboard. It's all good. I love you all anyway. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, it's all good because I'm going to catch you on the next video. Motherfuckers, I love you. Take it easy. Peace.